Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, and in this video, um, I'll be going over how to maneuver through United States census data. But first, let me start by saying this. Um, for years, um, geographers and, and um, data analysts were using American Fact Finder. Um, this was a great resource and tool, but um, once the um, resources and, and everything um, were uh, converted over um, to, to a new platform. Um, many users felt lost because um, everything had changed. Um, and if you haven't done uh, geospatial work uh, in a number of years, then um, this might be disorienting. So I've made this video for um, those of you that might have um, been uh, kind of taking a break and, and might have picked this uh, back up. Um, so for starters, I think it's good to look at um, where everything is located. Um, so if you look at the um, search term um, in the center, um, this is an excellent place to start. Um, but I would recommend not starting by the basic search. I mean, if you want to um, search some specific data, you can do so. Um, but I, I really recommend starting by advanced search. But before we start uh, jumping in and um, doing uh, things in advanced search, let me show you uh, some of the other features. So um, here you have um, some dynamic tables um, that you can create. And um, honestly, I think, um, this, so this is um, a, a government product. Um, and if you look at some of the industry leaders um, in geospatial technologies, um, a lot of them are now using dynamic tables um, and, and also has the capability to convert these um, into very um, colorful um, sort of maps and, and features. So um, uh, uh, the government has uh, upped up their game and um, provided um, some incredible uh, uh, tables and features. So let's explore some of those um, within this video. Um, if you go all the way to the bottom, um, you can see some maps and visualizations that you can um, click on. Um, so. I've recently done some work in educational attainment, um, so I'm going to just select educational attainment. Um, and so uh, people um, uh, with bachelor's degree or higher um, within the 18 to 24 year population group, um, and you can see the distribution of areas with higher educational attainment um, versus lower educational attainment. And, um, the beauty of this is uh, this is fairly recent data. Um, this is only from 2019. Um, so um, if you look at some of my other videos um, where I show you through ArcGIS um, uh, getting the living atlas and creating through um, American, um, through, through the county health rankings um, route. Um, if, you, if you look at those videos and then compare how you create maps um, from this technique, then you'll quickly see that um, some of these have advantages and disadvantages. So let me transition back. And then now um, look at the advanced search. So in, in the advanced search um, feature, you'll be able to provide some specific um, topic oriented uh, maps. So um, let's look in the topics um, and l l let's let's take a look at what the topic areas are. So you have business and economy, education, employment, family and living arrangements, government, health, housing, income and poverty, populations and people, and then race and ethnicity. So these are all extremely important topics. And if you relate these to social determinants of health, um, a lot of these align well 
um, with with the five domains um, that that are part of that. Um, so if you if you're thinking about education or even sustainable development goal four, um, it, it, uh, this this is the topic area that you want to explore. So educational attainment again. Uh, we went over a wonderful map uh, regarding that area. Um, if you want to think about uh, uh, about economic stability, um, uh, you look no further um, and look for um, one of the topics under here. So under poverty, there is the official poverty measure in poverty. So uh, we're not going to be exploring those areas. Um, I, I, of course, you know those are two domains. Um, health is another domain, um, and health has uh, quite a few indicators there. But we're not even looking at that. Um, we're looking at housing. So if you look under housing, um, and then. Look under um, characteristics. You can you you can um, find some interesting maps there, um, but we're looking at um, housing right here, um, and then look for tables. So you can see um, occupancy status has um, some products here and um, that one occupancy status is what we're after um, and there's 11 products here um, this is from the decennial census um, and then also you'll look um, from the American Community Survey um, so from the decennial census you can then change here you'll see the tables that are um, available and then you can kind of see the um, geographic distribution um, you can change that to include county and then um, if you're interested in just one state um, like we can go ahead and look in Pennsylvania or you can look in all the counties within the United States so I'm just gonna change that to all counties and then Let's take a look at what's there. A table is too large, so um, I, I recommend you download the table. Now, in this segment, um, I backtracked a little um, and and came back to the place where um, we had topics listed, um, and I wanted to explore um, another topic area um, other than housing, which is a bit different. Um, but has kind of the um, similar sort of um, information as the final product. Um, so looking at vacancy, um, this is um, some important information. Um, and you have occupancy status in the decennial census, and then occupation status, oc occupancy status uh, within the American Community Survey. So let's look at the most recent American Community Survey and let's look at five-year estimates. Scope of what is available. Um, so you want data that is for the whole United States. Um, So um, in this segment, um, I'm now going to show you with the American Community Survey um, how to um, download some of this data and then uh, manipulate this within a, a typical spreadsheet uh, program uh, like Excel. So I'm going to click on this um, arrow here. Um, and then we can select uh, download table. The table is too large to display. so. Um, if we select download table, you can select either all um, or uh, there is a breakdown by year. Um, I want to make sure that the filter um, is in place. The two filters, again, um, are all counties within the United States. 
um, and, and vacancy. So what will happen is a zip file will download. I had already shown this with another um, survey uh, set um, a, a bit ago, but um, this is with the American um, County, American Community Survey. So if we open the zip file, um, this is you'll you'll have the data. Um, the I think the last time we looked at the metadata. Um, so the metadata gives you kind of a summary overview of what is included within the uh, comma separated value file. Um, so these are all CSV comma separated value files, but a program like um, Excel would be able to um, uh, open it and it, you'd be able to do the calculations that are needed. So let's take a look at what is within the data. Um, and so when you double click on it, um, it should automatically pop up in um, Excel. So what you have here um, is not only the names of the counties, so this is around 3,000 counties, um, and you can kind of um, take this to generate a map. You can um, alternatively directly on the American Community Survey um, create uh, queries and then um, determine what is going on within your county um, to have a good snapshot of that um, without having to download a lot of this data. But um, this is this technique that I've just shown you. This is useful if you're trying to create maps and um, combine data sets, um, wh whether it's on housing or, or some other area of social determinants. And then um, generate really robust maps. Um, so I hope that this has helped you understand how you can effectively use the uh, American Community Survey after the transition of um, FactFinder uh, no longer being available. Thank you for listening.